they're crazy talented. I don't, I, I, you know, as I expected, I want to say, oh my God, it's so amazing. I had no idea the talent level. No, I, I knew going in that it was going to be incredibly uh, jam-packed with talent. And uh, there's, you know, the thing about these shows is that you just, whoever you think is going to win most likely won't. Um, or they might come damn close trying, but they, but they'll, 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 some dark horse comes out of nowhere and becomes America's sweetheart. You can't predict pop culture or just American culture in general. It's, it's impossible to predict it 100% of the time. Um, I mean, Madonna did for like two decades, but then even eventually she slipped off for a bit. It's like you've got these people who have this sixth sense that can always tell where it's going, but it's impossible to always be right. And I love that because if, it, if, you, if there was a shoe-in winner at the beginning of every season, what's the point in watching? And I can tell you from his team that I think, I'm not going to say who they are, but in my mind there are four people that if they pick the right songs, if they nail their performances, if they actually want it and they can be confident enough, there's four people that should make it all the way to the end. Um, but I'm not going to say who. At least that's just my opinion. I had the opportunity to do this in Australia a few months ago. And um, besides the fact that it was in Sydney, which is you know a hell of a lot of fun and beautiful, uh, it was actually fun. And I was actually very reluctant to have any involvement with anything like this for, for a while. Um, <clears throat> and then I saw, I happened to watch the first episode of this, of, of The Voice US because Adam was on it and he had told me about it. And he was like, please watch and tell me if it sucks or if it's, <laughs> or, if it's or if it's entertaining or if it's good. And we got 10 minutes into the first episode and my wife and I were just like, oh my God, this, this is actually really good. This is really good. And next thing you know, you're TiVoing the whole season. And I ended up working with Javier Colon after that first season. And, um, you know, now it's just kind of, it is, it's like embedded in our culture. And it's, I, I've just now, I think, gotten to the point in the age and maybe just the amount of time I've been doing this where I realized that being an advisor uh, it, or mentor, or whatever, is is essentially doing what I do. I don't. There's nothing different that I do here, or that I say here, that I wouldn't say in a studio, or in or on stage during rehearsal to anybody. Um, and this is one of the rare incidences where uh, I actually can kind of use everything that I've come to know. I've been on stage and touring the world for six years, and so there's the whole live aspect of how to interact with crowds and cameras and you know having cameras in your face all the time and deal with that and and then there's the actual singing aspect of it and finding the right key and picking the right song and how you actually you know uh, how you actually interpret the song and make make you sound like a star you know versus just you know uh, a karaoke singer